author Don Winslow put together a short film about Senator Joe Manchin from West Virginia. And this is probably one of the most effective things I've ever seen. If you made it into an ad, cut it by about 30 seconds, this could really do some damage to Joe Manchin's career as a politician. And what you're going to see here is something that if it were played on every single television station in West Virginia repeatedly, I think that Joe Manchin, his career would be over. He'd never get elected to public office again. So without further ado, I'm going to play you the clip, and I think you're going to see why this is so effective. What was your salary last year? About $18 million. It pays to be a member of Joe Manchin's family. Follow the money. Joe Manchin has represented West Virginia for 40 years. Delegate, state senator, secretary of state, governor, U.S. Senator, 40 years and West Virginia is still the second poorest state in the country. Economy, West Virginia ranks 48 out of 50 states. Thank you, Joe Manchin. Healthcare, 47 out of 50 states. Thank you, Joe Manchin. Education, 45 out of 50 states. Thank you, Joe Manchin. Infrastructure, wait for it, 50 out of 50 states. Manchin has an estimated net worth of $8 million, Follow the money. while the average annual income of West Virginia is just 26000 Manchin receives a taxpayer paid salary as a U.S. Senator of $184,500. So he didn't get his $8 million there. Nice yacht, Joe. So where does all the money come from? Manchin receives $491,000 annually from his son's coal brokerage company, Enter Systems. His wife, Gail Manchin, receives $613,000 from Enter Systems. That's $1.1 million to Manchin and his wife from his family's energy company. Manchin makes five times more from his family's energy company than he does as a U.S. Senator. Joe Manchin has blocked President Biden's infrastructure plan from moving forward because he wants to kill legislation to replace coal-fired plants with clean energy. Manchin is selling out his own country to protect big coal and big oil who own him. Joe Manchin, I talk to his office every week. Um, he is the kingmaker, uh, and, and he's not shy about sort of staking his claim early. The chairman of the committee that regulates coal shouldn't be a part owner of a coal company. This is Heather Manchin, Joe Manchin's daughter. After lying about having an MBA, she was named CEO of Mylan Industries. She artificially jacked up the price of EpiPens by 461% and was awarded with a 671% salary increase. West Virginia is poor, poorly educated, and broken, but Joe Manchin and his entire family have become multimillionaires. West Virginia, abused and suckered for 40 years by Joe Manchin. That was absolutely brutal. It thoroughly detailed his career as a self-serving politician. And that last line there was particularly powerful. I mean, West Virginia is poor, poorly educated, and broken, but Joe Manchin and his entire family have become multimillionaires. This is what's taken place after 40 years of public service in West Virginia. I mean, if people saw this ad, they would know that this man is not representing you. He pays lip service from time to time to your needs, but in actuality, he's not fighting for you. He's fighting for himself. He's fighting to enrich his donors. And what's especially infuriating is that out of all people, he's the last person who should be bemoaning entitlement mentality, but yet here he is talking about how, oh, well, you know what? I don't want to pass too many goodies for voters because I don't want to cultivate this entitlement mentality where people just expect handouts from the government. See, for him, it's handouts for me, but not the, because he's gotten a lot of handouts. And there's a really fantastic article that was just written by David Sirota, Julia Rock, and Andrew Perez that was published in uh, Jacobin and the Daily Poster. And what they explain is just how egregious and hypocritical it is for someone like Joe Manchin to bemoan other people's entitlement. So they write, West Virginia Democratic Senator Joe Manchin is reporting reportedly demanding new work requirements for families to qualify for the child tax credit. At the same time, Manchin may be enjoying a windfall from loopholes that provide the idle rich special tax preferences for passive income reaped without doing any work. Manchin has publicly boasted of doing zero labor for his family's coal company that has nonetheless been paying him hundreds of thousands of dollars annually and may be providing him preferential tax breaks on that passive work-free income. Manchin has also previously supported legislation to expand tax breaks for 
heirs to vast family fortunes and those benefits would flow to wealthy scions even if they are not working and they refuse to get a job. The situation spotlights a hypocrisy now baked into America's oligarchic politics. Politicians frequently demand draconian work requirements for programs that benefit working class families, while those same politicians rarely apply such restrictions to tax preferences that enrich themselves, their families, and their donors. As nearly one in five families have seen their life savings eliminated during the COVID-19 pandemic, the child tax credit battle makes the elitism explicit. Manchin is pressing for restrictions that could deny the benefit to 190,000 West Virginians, even as he's expressed no concern about and maybe personally benefiting from tax breaks rewarding income gleaned from doing no labor at all. So talk about entitlement mentality. He is the most entitled person in his entire state. And they also talk about how he supported a repeal of the estate tax. So he likes to portray himself as a fiscal conservative, fiscally responsible, a deficit hawk. But yet, how much would a repeal of the state tax, uh, tax cost? A quarter of a trillion dollars, more than a quarter of a trillion dollars. So the man is a hypocrite to the highest order. He's a fraud. And the faster that more people know about the fraudulence and hypocrisy of politicians like this, the better off we'll be as a country. Uh, that ad has got to be shown. So if you live in West Virginia and you know someone who voted for Joe Manchin, share this ad with them. Either they uh, don't know about this or they, they don't want to believe it. But I mean, I think that if voters were educated, no one with common sense would vote for a smug, self, self-serving self aristocrat like Joe Manchin after knowing how he's enriched himself after being a public servant. And I use that uh, word very charitably because he's not a servant. He's serving himself and the interests of his donors and not his constituents.